My name is Alan Melamed. I'm a Distinguished Medical Fellow and Senior Director for Regulatory Oncology. My job has been really to design clinical studies, working with some of the top thought leaders around the world to find the best approach to address a cancer and what are the biggest needs. I'm Ann White, Vice President for Portfolio Management here at Lilly. I'm responsible for the portfolio here of products, including those in oncology. My name is Jeff Phil. I'm a director of the Clinical Diagnostics Laboratory. So my role here is to help find the right patients and match them with our therapies that are going to be working. I'm Samantha Milliman and I'm a global product team leader. I lead one of our new and innovative cancer medicines and my team is responsible for developing the clinical trials, running the clinical trials, and then ultimately registering the drug around the world. When I first got into uh, clinical laboratory medicine, I thought of cancer as just being A to Z's, but it's really such a collection of so many other things that are going on with the patient. And it can be so elusive. There's such a heterogeneity to the, to the cancer, so there, it's not just one piece. It's very heterogeneous. There's so many pieces to it. Um, you can cure one aspect of the cancer and the other part just starts going wild. The biggest challenge that I see in curing cancer is there's so many different kinds of cancer and uh, as you probably heard about today, the fact is that many different patients have different markers or genetic markers that tell you how they should be treated with their cancers. And so the good news is science is exploding and we are better understanding what causes cancer, what the genetic mutations are. But it also means that we're finding out that cancer is hundreds, if not thousands, different types of diseases. And so that makes it difficult to find one answer for many patients. We still have a long ways to go. And I think sometimes it's easy to be overwhelmed by how complex and how much this disease uh, um, still remains resistant to some of our best efforts. But, you know, progress is made in small steps that aggregate to meaningful differences for patients and so we just have to keep fighting and those of us in the trenches every day need to stay dedicated. What are the most proud about is able to get new cancer medications to people with cancer. I've worked on five different medications that have been able to approve for different indications for people with cancer. I've been able to work on a drug like Gemzar and Olympta, Cyramza, and abemocyclop, and recently Lartruvo. This last year, we were able to get two medications approved for patients with cancer. It's been a very great year and great advance for patients. When you are able to bring that new medicine forward and see it actually go to patients and have doctors and patients and then their families benefiting from that new medicine, by far, that's what I'm the most proud of. And when it gets hard and when you're overwhelmed by how complicated it is and how much there is still left to do, you think about that moment. One of the things I'm most proud of is being involved in the launch of Olympta, which was one of our molecules that works in lung cancer, but also in mesothelioma. And it was the first drug that had a real impact on patients who have that kind of cancer that comes often from asbestos uh, exposure. And these patients were often younger sometimes in their lives. And the chance to help them and make them uh, be able to attend their daughter's wedding or make it to their son's graduation. We had so many stories when we were working on Olympta of the difference that it's made. We have patients come through and talk about their walk with cancer and their walk with the clinical trial process. And they are so motivated to help us um, in any way possible to try to figure out what, what are the next tests that we can develop that will lead to better treatments. And just seeing their motivation and dedication to be able to help that next generation of cancer survivors keeps us motivated too. But at the end of the day, what keeps me doing what I do is the, the fact that when I bring a new medicine forward, I help um, patients with cancer, I help their families have more time, I help them have more birthdays and holidays and special times that they're able to have with their families. I've taken care of patients, children with cancer, 
And I know what it is to have cancer and live with cancer. I've seen it. I've seen how it can affect a child's life. I still have families that come see me 20 years later. I still get letters thanking me for what I've done. And it is some of the most rewarding things that I've done in taking care of children, kids with cancer is seeing them get married, seeing them have children, seeing their lives become very different than they were when I saw them when they were four or five years old. You know, I don't know if we're close to finding a cure for cancer, but I know every day we're finding cures for individuals that have cancer. We have a lot more tools that are available to us in the treatment of cancer. And then when we think about detection and understanding when patients um, may be diagnosed sooner, what are the risk factors for cancer, we're seeing a lot of progress in that space. It's really curing cancer one patient at a time and trying to find those patients that are going to respond best and how can we help those individual patients. And, and I think as we continue to help more and more individuals, eventually we'll start to see cancer as, as not a, a, a death sentence, but more something that many of us get that we have to deal with in a long term and either get treated or have the disease manageable in such a way that we can continue with life and continue to enjoy our families and function in society. We're finding new ways to treat cancer. And I think the key goal for me would be to make cancer something more like a chronic disease, more like diabetes, something that you live with, not something you die from. Stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are But I won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us For we are glorious Cut me down. I'm gonna send a flood, gonna drown him out. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. This is me.